Has the little gek passed through the clouds, en route to the plowing portal? He reflected on his past, the injustice that he had suffered, and his desire for a better life. Ahead lay the portal, gleaming in the midday sun, the gateway he hoped that would lead him on a new path. Not knowing what to expect, he cautiously approached the structure. Triggering some sort of proximity sensor, a large stone pillar rose out of the ground, glimmering with iridescent light. Startled, the get quickly realized this was just some sort of control panel for the ancient portal. Acquiring various different elements, to seemingly charge the portal. Little Gek only possessed the necessary resources to charge the organic and catalytic glyphs. He would therefore need to collect the missing stellar and earth elements required in order to use the magical ancient device. First to the list was cobalt. Heading to a nearby cave was a plentiful supply. Gathering the required amount, he took the opportunity to stock up on Han batteries, who was headed protection. With the cobalt gathered, the Gick noticed it was a rare element deposit, plasmum, present in several of the stalagmites. This element was a missing, vital component, a yet to further repair his ship's cargo hold. An audible squeal of delight emanated from the little Gek as he gathered this precious resource. Heading to his ship, he immediately actioned the repair. With limited storage, he would need the space to gather the stellar element, copper, found in deposits on the planet's surface. With the source of copper located, the Gek scurries off into the night. His terrain manipulator makes short work of gathering the required stellar metal to charge the portal, but as his portable refiner can process the copper into chromatic metal, he exhausts the deposit, making the most out of the splag. Back at the portal, the little Gek charges the remaining gaps, but nothing happens. Out of curiosity, he reaches out, touching the ancient structure with his paw. Rather than feeling like cold stone, the portal stays dormant. The little Gek is confused, but convinced that the traveller graves must hold the key. Coming to a conclusion that maybe he needs one grave for each planet, the little Gek walks back into his ship and once again heads out into space and towards the next planet. Bay's Minor was a clouded planet, but contained another resource the little Gek needed to fix his ship, Paraffinia. Finding a safe spot to land, the planet, to refreshing 18 degrees, full of fantastically colorful creatures, including gigantic flying beetles, plenormous diplo type dinosaurs. These majestic creatures were mesmerizing. Not noticing the night drawn in, Little Gak gazed out of the landscape, the soft, colorful blow of flora dancing in the moonlight. However, such beauty came at a price, as there was also danger lurking in the shadows. Entering the safety of the ship's cockpit, though cramped with a musty smell still lingering, little Gek waited out the night, excited for what tomorrow might bring. The rest of this series will follow this little Gek on his journey throughout the unforgiving star systems and beyond the Euclid galaxy. Please ensure you are subscribed and leave a like so you too can support this little guy on his perilous journey. <laughs>